Kia ora koutou, welcome to Whiteboard Friday. This week we're looking at the issue of whether the economy is actually growing. Now, first I've had some feedback that I use my arms a little bit too much. Now normally, with feedback, I can frankly take it or leave it. But in this case, it came from the boss. So I probably have to take it. The only trouble is that if I don't move my arms, my brain stops working. So, sorry Gareth. Like I said, the topic of this week is, is the economy growing? We had some figures come out last week on GDP. They are showing that the economy has grown since the last year by about 2.8%. So that sounds great, but does that actually make us better off as individuals? That's what we're gonna look at in this presentation. And it's also important because all the same issues that we're talking about here also apply to budget funding when you hear announcements made in the budget. So, GDP up by 2.8% sounds great. Being driven by increases in construction and tourism spending of around about 5%, uh, being held back by a drop in exports of about 1%. So of course dairy meat exports struggling at the moment with low prices and the high dollar. Sounds great, GDP a growth of 2.8%, but is it really that great? Well first we have to take out the increase in prices that we've had over the last year. And because inflation has been around about 0.4%, that means real GDP growth is actually 2.4%. Okay, so this is the number that you'll generally see reported for growth. They do take out the impact of price increases. But what about population growth? We know that our population has been growing at a record rate over the past few years. In excess of 60,000 people uh, net, that's 60,000 people more entering the country than leaving the country on an annual basis. So actually when you strip out the impact of population, because more people in the country means they're spending more things, we get a higher GDP as a result. When you strip out that impact, you're left with a real GDP growth per person of around about 0.5%. So actually you can see that on a real price adjusted per capita, per person basis, we are not that much better off than we were a year ago. The economy is barely growing. So this is important to take into consideration whenever you hear GDP figures being used. And of course, the same applies to budget funding. Budget funding is fixed at a nominal level. You have to take into account price rises and population increases to work out whether or not you're actually better off when the government says they're spending more money on a certain thing in the budget. That is important stuff to look at. And of course, we can also question whether GDP is a good measure of progress anyway. But that is a story for another day.